What's up guys, Damon are one, two, and two, and it's list day. Ah yes, list day, and today we're gonna be doing something different, something kind of fun. Perusing my social medias, I came across somebody posting something, and I think it was Zodiac Duelist, I think? It was like a CBR article about the five Pokemon that Dark Magician Girl could beat in a fight, and the five she could not. If you guys are interested, I'll stick the article in the description below. The article was cringy as hell, and uh, the, most of the explanations were, were didn't make a hell of a lot of sense, because it seemed like they didn't quite know what they were talking about by either franchise, but the idea itself is kind of funny. So I figured I would task my Discord to come up with five Pokemon she would actually have a hard time beating in a fight, because there's tons of overlap with our two communities, so I figured if anyone could actually make a knowledgeable selection of Pokemon based on some actual knowledge of the two franchises, it'd be my Discord. Basically, the only stipulation I gave them is that she would be considered a dark fairy type Pokemon, because she's a dark attribute monster, and fairies like the magic type in Pokemon, so I guess it's pretty okay for an analogous for Spellcaster. Granted, we also have fairy type in Yu-Gi-Oh, so it's not perfect. You could also probably make an argument she'd be psychic type, but she got pink accents. She's a fairy type Pokemon. Come on. But for the people who do actually care about competitive viability, being that she is a dark fairy type means we can use the impotent line as our template. She's weak to poison, steel, and fairy, but immune to psychic and dragon as well as resisting Ghost and Dark. I also told the Discord that I didn't want to just go completely on like VGC competitive Pokemon meta in order to decide how good Dark Magician Girl would be because that's a little too serious for the concept of the video. So I figured that they should also take some lore into consideration because I think that'd be a little more funny, you know what I mean? So without further ado, let's get started. Number five is Garbodor. This pure poison type has a base stat total of 474. Being that poison is one of her primary weaknesses, it does make a ton of sense that they would have picked a big garbage Pokemon in order to beat up on DMG here. <laughs> it's got some access to some pretty solid stab moves like Sludge Bomb, as well as status afflictions like Toxic for bad poison. And they also mention the notes here that it learns Gunk Shot at level 43. Gunk Shot? What the hell is Gunk Shot? Huh, okay. Hmm. But I think the real reason we picked Garbodor here is because it's Dark Magician's job to take out the bins. Am I right, ladies? F***ing idiot. <laughs> the trash heap Pokemon, folks. Number four is Machamp. Machamp? Pure fighting type with a base stat total of 505. I mean, that's big number. That's a big number. Big number. I mean, I guess we decided that she's not a psychic type, so... Sure. Um, and Machamp's an okay Pokemon. High attack stat, as a fighting type should have. Kinda confused. Is the idea that Dark Magician Girl is gonna be physically frail and not have a big defense stat because she's a magic user? I mean, sure, we didn't really discuss what kind of her stats would be, but I guess it makes sense. And he also does have the no guard ability, so if you're trying to conflate it with something in Yu-Gi-Oh, it'd be something like Armadi's. Oh, uh, attacks always hit. I don't know guys, it's a meme video. Are we, are we metagaming too much here? And the only note they gave me is, uh, four arms. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, number three is Wobbuffet. Pure psychic type based at total 405. Okay, so the thing about Wobbuffet is I'm almost 90% sure it was also on the, the, the in the article. So, hey, props to them for coming up with this thing. No, no, he's got a point. And this one actually makes sense to me. With moves like Mirror Coat and Destiny Bond, it actually makes tons of sense that DMG would have a hard time beating the uh, punching bag Pokemon here. Mirror Coat would definitely make Wobbuffet either immune to magical type attacks or immune to targeted spell effects. <laughs> really, really however we want to go with it. Not only that, but it also has Destiny Bond, meaning if you can somehow send Wobbuffet to the graveyard, it would take DMG with it. Not to mention Wobbuffet is also a famous bounty hunter. Wow! He's basically a gimmick Pokemon, and Dark Magician Girl's like hidden ability just raises her attack stat, so it's, it's not like she has any real good of dealing with something that's a combination of like Marshmallow and Nudoria. Yeah, that makes, this, make, this one makes sense. Wobbuffet's basically a walking trap card. Okay, sure. All right, this next one is a uh, ditto. Paranormal type, base stat total 288. Okay, so I guess this makes sense. Dark Fairy's a weird typing, Impidimp's the only other Pokemon that has this kind of good against itself. So ditto would be a good way of copying a rare typed 
Pokemon by just becoming it with a uh, transform? But wouldn't wouldn't you just use the Impidimp in that case? Why would you use why would you Oh, Garbodor's Gunk Shot, Machamp's Four Arms, and now Ditto turning into an exact replica of herself. Wow! For shame. You guys aren't playing Pokemon, you're just horny. Damn, you know, bonks. B bonks all around. Jesus. Damn it. Like, I'll see, now, now I'm scared what number one's gonna be. The honorable mention is Licky Tongue. The only note I have here is it's an honorable mention because she could probably beat it, but why would she want to? This whole video is gonna get demonetized. Thanks, guys. I'm, I'm glad I'm glad this whole thing's real funny to you. This is why Konami doesn't sponsor me or send me product or nothing. What what is even number one? Let's get it over with. No, no, I'm not gonna do that one. I can't even spin this. Fine. Tangela. The, the tentacle Pokemon. Fine whip. <laughs> you know, Tentacruel or Octillery would have also been a great choice for this. Just saying. Uh, but you know what? I'm, I'm not gonna let you guys beat me. I'm gonna spin this. I'm gonna figure out a good reason why. A good reason why she can't beat this thing. Um, what are, what's its move set? Okay, we got Bind, Constrict, Vine Whip, Tickle, Power Whip. Grass Knot? Come on! This isn't even you guys! This thing's just a horny Pokemon! Sleep Talk? Seed Bomb? Okay, Tangrowth isn't even better. It's got Slam. Bulldoze. <laughs> ah! You know what? You beat me. You guys beat me. You win. The video's ruined. The whole thing is shot. I can't work with this. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are happy. You, uh, you, got, you got the whole channel taken down. Congratulations. <laughs> Ryan's gonna kill me. <laughs> Full disclosure, I tasked the Discord to make this list and I told them to include a couple jokes. Uh, and then and then we actually got two metagamey and they were just yammering about, you know, typings and legendaries and things like that. So I was like, you know what? Fine. Puts Infinity Gauntlet on. I'll do this one myself. So yeah, this video is all me. I <laughs> <laughs> the pretense that I didn't know what was going on. It was entire, it was a fabrication. But anyway guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys think and if you want me to do more of this kind of stupid stuff. Uh, Pokemon's fun. I love Pokemon. So, you know, I'm, I'm all for it. But anyway guys, let me know what you guys think and remember guys, if you don't troll the meta, who will? See you guys next time. Just a quick special thank you to all my supporters over on Patreon. You guys make the whole channel possible. You guys have no idea how much it means to me that you guys do that. If you guys want to be part of the Goblet Attack Force, link for the Patreon down in the description below. What's up, douchebags? By the power of this heel of all my calculos, I command you to subscribe to the channel. Grab your deck and be sure to click one of these other videos by David A.K. 1212. It's the best damn channel on the internet. Yeah, man. Yeah.